Okay, so let's see if we can get these tests passing. We're going to, let's see if I can just close this down, control C to shut that down. I hit control F5 to run that, which means run without the debugger. And when you're running without the debugger and you need to shut down a project early, you can hit control C, which is an old, old hotkey. You can go ahead and close that. If you hit F5 to run with the debugger, you can control and C in here as well, but then you get this first chance exception from the debugger saying, hey, um, control C, something blew up, which you know, is okay, but that's kind of annoying. I just have to hit two keystrokes and this comes up trying to help you to debug it. And let me just, uh, how do I get rid of that? Right there. All right, so if you F5 and you want to shut down a program prematurely, then click on the debugger and hit Shift F5 to stop debugging. Uh, you can also just hit the, I think there's a stop button somewhere. I don't see, is this stop button? Breakpoints. I don't know, you can debug, stop debugging, shift F5, that's the same thing. Okay, so first things first, I don't want to have to copy my engine DLL to the other folder. Let me show you again. Remember the engine project builds this engine folder here, and then I had to copy engine DLL over here, and I don't want to have to do that by hand every time. I could have the engine project just build directly to here, which I guess would work. We could well, there's two approaches. We could, depending on the solution we're in, we could have the engine project output to a solution dir, and then all the other projects in the solution output to the solution dir. Then we get this this output folder for the entire solution, which I think is kind of messy. The other approach, though, it also has some hangups as well. The the approach I'm going to use, and the approach I'm going to show you, but I I think it's a little clean, cleaner because it keeps these projects separated from one another. So let me show you how I'm going to do that. This is uh. Literally, all we have to do every time we build this engine DLL is right-click on it, copy, and then paste it over here. But I don't want to do that by, by hand. I want that to happen automatically. So there's this tool called Build Events in Visual Studio where I can go to this engine pro tester project, go to Properties, and you see we have Build Events here. And basically, these are hooks or events, if you would, <laughs> for lack of a better term. But a way that Visual Studio says, hey, right before I'm about to build, you can run a command line. All right, and this is a DOS command line. It's essentially the same as if you open up a DOS prompt and type the command in there. So a little little scripting, if you would, Windows scripting, but still a little bit of scripting. Um, you can do that before the build. You can do it before we link, and you can do it after we build. Well, I'm going to do it after we build. Actually, in this case, since it's the we're we're doing this on the engine tester project and i believe we set up our project dependencies let's double check that again project dependencies engine tester okay so we set it up for sandbox game in the previous video sandbox game relies engine to be built before we before sandbox game but we didn't do it for engine tester which so we should have i'm going to say engine tester depends on engine and rem recall this is saying hey build the engine project before we build the engine tester project all right well we know that if we go back to the build events for engine tester, I bring I don't know if I can really get some screen real estate here. There we go. Sorry, it's off to the right here. So I know either in the pre build event or the post build event, it doesn't matter because all these events will occur after the engine project has built. All right, so I could really do what I want to do in any of these. I'm going to do it in the pre-build event. I think that makes more sense. So before we build the engine tester project, let's copy the output for the engine project into the output directory for the engine tester project. All right, and so that's the simple copy command. I'm going to say copy. Uh, let's do out. Is it out directory or output directory? I see. I can't remember. That's why this macros if you come here go to macros it's going to be let's see we want to copy the engine dll you know what let's just stub this out for a sec engine.dll to we want to copy that to the outer all right and then also with dos command since some of the directory paths uh, can have spaces in them i don't think i see let's just look here for out directory out directory. So see, I don't, I, I tend not to put spaces in my paths, but it's very common that you can have spaces in your paths. And so to get this working properly, you have to put all your paths in double quotes, which flags to DOS to include the spaces or the white space. 
Okay, so if my out directory was C's colon backslash something with a bunch of spaces in it, then it would include all that as the full entire path. Otherwise, DOS sees a space as a separation between tokens, and we'll, and we'll say, why are you giving me so many tokens? I just need two. I need the uh, source and I need the destination. Okay, so copy engine DLL to the outer, but where is engine DLL? It was in the projector. Up one into the engine project in gen project slash remember we got configuration that could be debug or release and there's engine dll so projector up one engine configuration engine dll copy that to my output directory actually but before i do that before i do that i want to i want to actually erase the one we currently have if it exists but that could, oh, that could cause issues as well. Let's just, let's try this, see if this is going to work. Let's click OK, click OK, uh, Control Shift B, hope this works. Oh, it worked. Generally, it doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work for me the first time. But let's go, let me bring that folder back up. Okay, it's right here. Let me go here. Uh, engine DLL, let's just delete this. Send to the recycle bin. Click back over here. Build. It should copy it back into that folder. And does it? Does it? Build succeed? Oh, it didn't. Let me tell you why. <laughs> it didn't actually build. Since we've built, this is kind of an interesting thing about build events. If you build and there's nothing to do, meaning there's nothing new to do, like we created the object files, we linked them all together, we got the exe. So really, you told it to build, but the optimization for Visual Studio is, hey, we already there's nothing new to do, so I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to immediately tell you build succeeded. So this generally isn't a problem because you're typing code and you're editing and you're always hitting build and it'll always copy the latest one. Um, We'll hit some snags with this a little bit later that I'll, I'll introduce or talk I'll talk about when we get there. But for the most part, since you're always typing code and modifying, it's not an issue. But since I just hit Control Shift B and built after a build, the Visual Studio is like, there's nothing to do. And so it doesn't fire the build events because it really didn't build anything. I know that's kind of interesting. Let's clean the solution. Say, hey, you you got nothing. You need to build. So let me bring this uh, bring that folder back up. You can see here our engine tester project has a nice clean folder. Now I'm going to say build. Control shift B, build started. I won't be surprised if we get an error because generally these commands I tell it to do error out the first time because I did something wrong. Oh, but it didn't error out. Okay, well, maybe I'm just getting good. Here we go. Engine tester and look what's back. Engine DLL. All right now the true test is can we run this uh, without any errors? Let's, let's do that. Control F5 and look at that. Our test cases are failing but we didn't get any... Um, of those, hey, engine DLL is corrupt errors. Okay, we're we're good here. Everything's good. So, <sighs> good build events. Now let me just remind you that the 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 trick I did with the build events. There's going to be some snags, but I don't I don't think it'll help you to talk about these snags until we actually hit the snags. So I'm going to just leave that how it is, and when we hit those snags, I'll come back to that later. For now, I want to get our tests passing, so we're going to do that in the in the next video.